Hey there, uh, this is a quick tutorial on uh, joining and selecting uh, data in QGIS. Uh, so we have some census data here. There's a previous video um, that uh, looks, that calculates an owner percent variable. So this is the percent of households that are owner occupied in Clark County, Georgia in 1970. And we wanna join it to some spatial data. And I'm gonna walk through how to do that in QGIS. So to add data to QGIS, um, there's lots of ways to do it, but I'm going to use the Add Data button in QGIS 3, choose Vector, and I'm going to um, identify the um, folder where I've got my working materials here. So we're going to do this, this, that, and um, we're going to use the 1970 data, um, which is present right here. So I'm going to look for the shape file, um, which is this one. It's got the SHP file, or I can filter here. Um, for just Esri shape files, and that makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the tracks. Click OK, click on Add. And then here you can see all those data sets. You notice the coverage is a little uneven. In 1970, we're not, we don't have full reporting. I'm going to zoom in to just athens Clark County, which is this little dot right here. And you can see there's not a whole lot of tracks, but there's some tracks. Then we're also going to want to add our um, tabular data, the data set we just looked at in Excel. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, that's back here. And this is example data. And you can see here what that looks like. We don't have any point coordinates in our data. It's just no geometry. There's no spatial data involved. So go ahead and add those and close. So now we've got these two and we want to link them together. The easiest way to do that is to right click on the spatial there, choose properties. And we want to do a join. And then we click on this little plus button to add a join. Um, it automatically detects there's only one other data file here, so um, it's example data already says that's the layer you want to join to and ask what field in that layer you want to use, what variable. So we're going to choose GIS join, which is what NHGIS helpfully adds to all their data to link these two. And then the target field in this data set is the same thing, it's down, it's right there, GIS join. Um, we're going to go ahead, actually we don't need to join all the fields, you don't have to. So I have this own percent variable, that's really the only one I care about. So I'm just going to say I just want to have that one um, in here, and then I don't need a field name prefix to tell me um, what I'm looking at. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And OK. So now if I open the attribute table um, for this data, for these data, and then take a look at it, um, you'll see I've got, oh wait, I've got a bunch of nulls. That's because I didn't join data. I only had data for athens Clark County. So I still have all these other counties here. So what I want to do is do a selection. I'm going to go ahead and open the attribute table. And I can do a filter. So um, I can select using an expression using this little button right up there. Go ahead and click on that. I'm going to say, I want to have one. There's a couple different ways I could do this. The easiest one might be to use that join field. So I want to use one where the owner percentage right, is greater than, let's say, negative one, meaning there's a value in there that's zero or higher. I'm going to select features, and I can see here 15 features were selected, right there. So that, and if, I, if I zoom in to athens Clark County, I can kind of even see here, it's a little yellow. There it is. So I've selected all those features. That's great. So now let me just go ahead and save this to a shape file that I have all that data together. I won't have to mess with the join. So I do export, save features as, I'm going to do an Esri shape file. Let's call this tracks 1970. Except, sorry, I want to pick a safe place to save it. I'll save it in this working folder that I've got here. So tracks. 1970, Esri shape file, sounds good. Make sure that you say save only selected features. I've wasted many, many hours um, redoing saves when I haven't done that. So you only want the selected features. You don't want the whole one. In ArcMap, the default is to use the selected. In QGIS, that's not the default. That's something you have to choose. Um, if you want to, you can change the CRS. You can change it to just the standard WGS84, um, which is 4286. You don't have to do this or 4326, sorry, 4326 right there. Um, I'm gonna do that just a standard um, projection or not even projection, GCS. Click OK, and there I can see my new data set. Um, it's listed over here as well. So then you can go ahead and upload that to an online tool if you'd like to, which is the next step in this lab.